continue with the break apart strategy here for addition, lesson 1.6. Number three, you're going to want to break this apart by place value. So the four is in the hundreds place, so it's worth 400. The seven is in the tens place, so it's worth 70. And the three is in the ones place, so it's worth three. The one is in the hundreds place. The two is in the tens place. And the three is in the ones place, so that's worth three. Then you're going to want to add those numbers up. You have 500 plus 90 plus 6. Then you need to add these numbers up, and many of you guys can do this in your head. A money? Yes, 596. So you can see how this is easier to add these big numbers because you're breaking them apart by place value. I'll do one more example here. Number four. The two's in the hundreds place, so it's worth 200. Plus, you can see there's a zero in the tens place, so you don't need to put anything. You don't need to say 200 plus zero. So we'll just do 200 plus 8. Unless it would be good to put that zero placeholder because we're going to have 60 here. What do you think, A-Money? Put the zero there. All right, plus zero plus Eight. Maybe that'll help you guys because you're going to have, well, you'll see the next number does have a number in the tens place. The five is in the hundreds place, so 500 plus six is in the tens. So maybe that does make it a little bit easier because now you can, at least everything is lined up now. And then nine is in the ones place. 700. 60 and 17. What is this? If you can do that in your head. Yes, Avery? Seven hundred seventy-seven. Very good. So that is the break apart strategy. Lesson 1.6.